with this, after this review, it's done. It's over with. It will be all over soon. 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 Okay. 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 Hey. What's up, you guys? Film fan 0590. Here again. And today we're going to review Breaking Dawn Part 2. So, um, Breaking Dawn Part 2 stars Robert Pence and. Kristen Stewart, tell a lot there. The film's about a battle, really. A long, outdrawn build up to a battle. That's really what this movie is about. It's a long, drawn out build up to a battle that really isn't even that great in the first place. So, yeah. Really, that's really what the movie is about. To be completely honest with you, that's really what it's about. And really, what happens in this movie. Like, seriously, that's all that happens in this movie. It is one big old giant buildup to a battle. That's all it is. And the actual battle itself isn't even all that exciting, to be honest, at all. It really isn't. But, yeah, um... Obviously, by now, do I even really, you know I think it's terrible. You know I think it's awful. You know I think it's just gutter trash. You know I think it's awful. At this point, at this rate, you should know this. To be honest with yourself, at this rate, with me reviewing this last one, you should know by now, I think these movies are awful. Okay? This is awful. This is a terrible final installment. Really, it is an awful Awful fight, and people find this to be the best one out of all of them. Are you, are you, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Seriously, are you kidding me? This is arguably the worst one. It could be an argument to be the worst one of the series. I still think part one is, but this is the second worst. These, these breaking down ones are the worst out of all of them. Oh my goodness, this was bad. This was awful. This was borderline trash. This was awful. It's trash. It's terrible. It's garbage. It's awful. It is such a terrible movie for the love of sweet Jesus. Is it awful? It is terrible. Let's get into what is terrible about this movie because you know I have no positives with this movie. So... Let's just get into the, just get into the bad with this movie. The, the the downright awful with this film. First being the acting. Oh my goodness, the acting is so bad in this movie. Seriously, the acting is so bad in this movie. It really is. Robert Pattinson plays the same old, you know, the same old shallow, dull and Oh wait, forgot to remind you, I have to remind you in all these reviews, the actors regret these movies. They know they're terrible, they know they're gutter trash, they know they're awful, okay? These actors know these movies are terrible. Forgot to mention that, almost forgot to. So yeah, they regret these movies, they know they're garbage. Okay, back to what I was saying. Or it just, he plays the same old shallow character, just the same old, you know, oh, the, the Bella, I, need, I need you to be safe, I need you to do, that's all he does, that's all he does, that's all he does, seriously, he is terrible, like, I, he's just awful in this movie, he's really terrible in this film, he just doesn't know, oh, seriously, who thought this was good writing for this character, who thought this was a good character, seriously. And then you got Kristen Stewart, of course, as Bella. <sighs> she's bad. She's really, she's really, really bad. And she's such a good actress. She really is. And these... Uh, what were they doing? What were you doing? What were you doing? She's so bad in this movie. She really is. She is so terrible in this film. 
And then, of course, oh uh, man, oh, uh, the worst character in this franchise. The worst, I'm sorry, he is the worst character in this entire franchise. Taylor Lautner as Jacob. <laughs> my good buddy, man, I dragged my poor friend Kate in here because he never seen part one or two, so we, so we watched this one together as well, and man, dude, even he was like... He was sleeping, like, he was sleeping in the movie, um, Terrell Lautner, he was like, that has got to be the worst fake, a uh, fake sleep I have ever seen in my life. That's how bad he is! That's how bad of an actor this guy is. Seriously, if he can't even do sleeping right, that's how bad of an actor he is. My goodness, and he is terrible in this movie. He is awful. All he does is whine, complain. That's all he does. Whine and complain. It's like it's like he has to keep on repeating himself. Like he has to whine, then complain, then whine, then complain. It's like he's like a uh, broken record. Like he just keeps on repeating himself. He goes like, you know, whine, complain, whine, complain. And that's all he does in this movie is whine and complain. Because that's all his character is. It's nothing but a whiny brat. That's all he is in this movie. Because he couldn't get himself a shallow girl. That's it. And, yeah, he's terrible. He's awful in this movie. He is so bad in this film. He is terrible. He is complete and other garbage in this movie. And everyone else is terrible, too. Michael Michael Sheen, Sheen, I believe that's his last name. Um, yeah, what? Really, this guy cannot act. My goodness, he is so over the top as this villain. He is so terrible. Like, literally... He makes the goofiest expressions I've ever seen. He makes the most laughable dialogue I've ever heard for a villain, basically. He's just terrible. He is awful. He is borderline trash. He is awful in this movie. Everyone is terrible in this film. All the rest of the characters, they're awful as well. They're terrible. They can't act to save their lives. So, yeah, they're terrible in this movie. The romance... Whatever, like it's still terrible. None of these characters have chemistry with each other whatsoever. They don't. None of these characters whatsoever. You don't buy into, you know, ever having a relationship with Bella. You don't buy it. You don't buy it at all. You seriously don't. You do not buy it at all. You don't buy these two as a couple. And that's the main selling point of this movie. Of this entire franchise. And you don't buy it for a second. You seriously don't. You don't buy it for a second. Then, you know what? I'll go into detail with that a little bit later on. Let's talk about first the absolute atrocious writing. The atrocious, atrocious writing. This writing is awful. I'm sorry. These, this has to be the worst written franchise of all time. This is without question, actually, the worst written franchise of all time time the writing for these characters are absolute trash it's terrible none of them this dialogue that they have to say is so bad as i have said in previous reviews i can't imagine just seeing the screenplay like seeing this adapted onto this big screen i can't imagine how it's written in the book like seriously i can't even imagine it it's so bad this writing is terrible i absolutely hated the writing in this movie it is so terrible how does anybody think this is good writing? I seriously don't see it. I don't see how anybody thinks this is compelling and good writing. It, because it isn't. It's so bad. Like, seriously, the dialogue that these characters say... Oh, it's so terrible. It's so terrible. It really is. And it's just so bad to watch on screen. You're literally in pain watching it on screen. The directing is not good with this movie. It really isn't. The directing is not good. Bill Conahan, I don't know what he was doing, just it's not good. The directing is not good with this movie whatsoever. It's very poorly shot, it's very poorly edited, the cinematography isn't really that good. It's not, it's just not a good directed movie. It really isn't. It is not a good directed movie, this movie. It is directed very poorly. The visual effects, I forgot to mention this in part one. They have to use a, a CGI baby. And when I tell you... Caden and I were dying of laughter. We were dying of laughter each time the CGI baby came on screen. We were seriously... I think Caden was in tears at one point because of how much he was laughing. Seriously, we were dying of laughter of how awful this baby looked. It looked that bad. You thought, you thought the baby in American Sniper was bad. They've got nothing on this. 
Holy moly, and then the CGI in the wolves, yeah, once again, doesn't look good, though. The running effect doesn't look good either, but it's the CGI baby. Wow. Wow. Like, just wow. I could not believe... Wow. That was bad. That was terrible. The CGI on that thing was awful. It really was. And the movie is so... BORING! Oh. My. Goodness. Is it boring. When I tell you, this is nothing more than just a build-up to a lame-as-heck battle. That's all it is. It is just a giant build-up. That's all this movie is. It's just one giant build-up. And it is boring as hell, let me tell you. Seriously, at some point I thought Kate and I were going to fall asleep. Like, at some point I really felt like he was going to fall asleep. Like, seriously, I thought he was just going to fall asleep at some points, because that's how boring this movie is. It's so boring and so lifeless, and it's a, just a bunch of nothing. It's nothing. It is nothing. That's all this movie is. It's just nothing. It's nothing. Really, nothing happens into this movie until you actually get to the battle sequence. Like, it is nothing more than just one giant build-up to a battle sequence. That's all this movie is. It's just one giant build-up to the, what's not even that exciting of a battle sequence. Speaking of that battle sequence, I have to go in detail with this. So, I guess if you've never seen this movie, spoiler warning, if you even care really, to be honest, do you even care? Do you really care? But just in case if you do, spoiler warning, because they need to talk about this because this was stupid. Okay, so the whole big action sequence, which wasn't even that exciting, really. Basically, everyone dies. Mostly, everyone dies in this battle sequence. Yeah, everyone mostly dies in this battle sequence. And it wasn't even that exciting, really. I Because I don't care about these characters. They don't care... I, they didn't make me care enough for these characters for to care about this battle sequence. You know what I mean? I didn't care about the story. I didn't care about the characters. So why am I going to care about this battle sequence? It wasn't that interesting, and it wasn't really that great. But what was the biggest middle finger, basically, with this action sequence? Okay, this is arguably the worst twist I have ever seen in the movie. This, re this really might be the worst twist I have ever seen in a film. So once they kill the head council of the um, Covenant or whatever it's called, we it reveals that it was just Alice's vision. This what? Dude, when I tell you, when Caden saw this... He lost his mind in the worst possible way. He could not believe that this happened. Seriously, what a cop-out. That has to be the most cop-out twist I've ever seen in my life. That was a giant major cop-out. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, I know I said I didn't care about any of the characters or the stories or anything, but, but for people that did care... That's a major cop-out! That really, that is such a major cop-out twist that I couldn't believe that they did that. They did that. Seriously, that was just one big giant middle finger to the entire audience. That was bad. That was terrible. Like I said, the, the sequence wasn't even that good in general, really. It was not exciting. It was not interesting at all. It just really wasn't. And then you throw that on top of it. What? That twist was awful. That's terrible. This makes every single M. Night Shyamalan twist look legendary. I am dead serious. This twist was awful. If anybody likes this twist, what is wrong with you? I'm sorry, I've never liked this, but what is wrong with you if you like this twist? If you think this is a good twist, s stop. Stop, okay? Stop. This is such a terrible twist, and one big giant middle finger to not only people that are actually fans of this, but to just people who are so tortured by this franchise, and then you just throw something that's even worse on top of it. Seriously, that was awful. And now, the other thing I have to go in detail with, this is just going to completely go off the rails with the review. This is a kind of a rant, no, this is going to be a rant on the modern movie going audience. You. You people, let this movie. You know what? I have to bring up my phone for this. Because I got the franchises that this franchise has made more money than. Okay? So, 
Twilight has made more money than The Hunger Games, The Hobbit, Mission Impossible, The Dark Knight Trilogy, The Dark Knight Trilogy, Superman, Star Trek, Indiana Jones, Toy Story, Planet of the Apes, Born, Matrix, Chronicles of Narnia, Dead, Die Hard. I'm about to lose it. Oh my goodness. This, I cannot believe. Back to the Future, Lethal Weapon, King Kong. You people, let this franchise make more money than all those great franchises combined. Are you kidding me? Are you... Are you kidding me? Are you seriously kidding me? You let movies like Rush, Edge of Tomorrow... Um... What, what else? Like, movies like Rush, Edge of Tomorrow, Dread, Bomb at the Box Office. But you let piles of crap like that... Piles of crap like the Resident Evil franchise, the Transformers franchise, this franchise, to make money. You make me sick. You make me sick as a film lover that you let these movies make so much money. These pieces of crap franchises that don't deserve your money, make money. How dare you. I'm sorry, how dare you. How dare you. How dare you, really. Seriously. How dare you? You let this franchise make more money than Toy Story. Than Toy Story. The greatest animated trilogy of all time. You let this make more money than that. You, you seriously made it make more money than Indiana Jones and Star Trek. You... Are you... I'm about ready to lose it. Because you people made this make more money than those franchises. You make me sick. Seriously, you let a franchise like this, a pile of crap franchise that is not good, that has terrible characters, a terrible romance, awful writing, everything that is wrong with a movie. And you let this make more money than all those franchises combined. Are you, are you out of your mind? Seriously, are you seriously out of your mind? So that's why I have to say about the modern movie going audience. You are a disgrace. You are terrible. You let movies, you let this franchise make more money than all those great franchises. Seriously. You let great movies bomb and you let movies like this be successful. The Nice Guys, a great uh, mystery comedy uh, movie, bombs at the box office, but yet this movie makes tons of money. Yet movies like those make tons of money. So seriously, you are a disgrace to me, and you are a spit into my face as a film lover. So yeah, there you go. So there you go. There's my reviews. There's the reviews you all wanted. The reviews for the Twilight movies. To see me lose my insanity over these movies. You're welcome. Seriously, you're welcome. So, that was my reviews. And that was my review of part two. I hope you all enjoyed my misery and I don't have to talk about these movies anymore. Thank the Lord I don't have to talk about these movies anymore. So yeah, that was my review. Hopefully you enjoyed it. So if you've seen part two, what did you think about it? Leave in the comment section below and I'm FilmFan0599 and we will see you all later. Peace.